I know you've done this on the uh, Orange and Brown Talk podcast. So the the assets for the Deshaun Watson, we know what they were. How do you view the trade now? I think it's really hard to view this trade definitively still. And I talked about this after the draft. I think there's a lot of people who want to fall on the side of the Browns have absolutely lost this trade. And I don't think you can do that. I think there's no way right now you look at what the Texans have done with those picks. I think getting Will Anderson and getting Tank Dell alone makes this deal a win for Houston because you also have to figure out the fact Deshaun Watson was never playing another game there regardless. This is not like the Browns manufactured a deal out of thin air. Houston was going to move on. So I think the picks they got, they allowed them to get some, hopefully for them, cornerstone players on both sides of the ball for them for the next how decade or so. And I do think even though that is true, even though Houston can't lose the trade, the Browns can still make the trade a win for them as well. This isn't a somebody has to win, somebody has to lose the trade scenario. If the Browns go and win a Super Bowl next year, I think everyone will consider that a successful trade. Now, I do think if Deshaun Watson struggles and they don't win and it's very clear, hey, we're in year three of this and we haven't gotten out of it what we wanted, then yeah, the trade didn't work for them, but I think with his injury last year, with the suspension the year before, you still can't look at this and say the Browns made a bad deal. They got fleeced. I know I saw that terminology being used on Twitter. I don't think that's entirely accurate yet. I do still think this can be a win for the Browns if Deshaun Watson comes out and helps this team get to a Super Bowl. I do think that's the standard, but there's still time for them to meet it. Yeah, look at all the teams that have done crazy stuff trying to get quarterbacks um, the yeah. last year as well. So it, it shows you um, it's the hardest position in all of sport to find one, and that's why the Browns did what they did.